let's make a 2d drawing with the help of 3d model so this is our 2d drawing and we are going to make this with the help of isometric view or 3d model see here all notes are written here we will edit title block also and there is front view top view and right hand side view and there is one isometric view if you just zoom and see the dimensions which dimensions we need for this drawing so we will do it according to drawing now this is our 3d model so if you open file here we have two options either choose new documents or make drawing from parts select new documents open drawing documents okay now here see standard sheet size and custom sheet size if we choose custom you have to mention the length and width height or width anything but we will go with standard sheet size even in standard sheet size there is only show standard formats if you unchecked it will show you too many templates or too many formats so simply i am going to keep only standard formats a3 iso say okay now see here here one option open model view now here see 3d model already selected because our 3d file open in solid work if you choose this one if there is a any kind of a, just you can check thumbnail preview this is the our drawing if there is any cosmetic thread you can choose quality of the co cosmetic thread here select the next and it will show you this option by default we have only one configuration that is selected now here this center one is front view any view you can make front view but just by selecting this so i am going to select this if you move cursor if you uncheck this preview it will show you only block but i'll prefer this okay even if you don't want this simply choose trimetric diametric current model view or simply choose this view see even if you select create multiple view select this and select all the views all four views now here see all four views simply say okay and all four views are here undo again choose model view next if you choose this one as a front view if you select auto start projected view if you place and move your cursor it will show you projected view if you don't want you have to simply uncheck this let's say place this one okay now just place the position now if you see this one the first view is front view here you can choose display style see i am going to change display wire hidden line visible and then hid hidden line visible this is hidden line removed and the first one is wireframe see it will show you all the line directly but in most of the cases we select hidden line quality and even though if you want to ch ch change scale use sheet scale use custom scale from here you will see too many standard size you can create or take or you can make directly 0.2 and see all are changed because these these are the pa children view from this parent view if you come down see here use parent style for this if you uncheck you can modify this as simple as use parent view okay now select this change scale 1 is to 1 there is no cosmetic thread so we will keep as it is now if we select this isometric view you can individually select view for this 
here it will show you high quality and draft so i'm going to choose high quality it will gives you sharp edges now if you want to apply dimensions to this go to annotations activate smart dimension now here make sure you selected rapid dimensioning if you select this see here two option yellow and see if you go upper one it will show you dimension on upper of the view if you choose lower ball it will show click lower ball and it will placed now select this here also you will see this two options see so i'm going to select this let's say this see that's it now it is showing downward size just move upside or you can place your cursor move cursor and place wherever you want see select this place now let's check this dimension select this one place from here to this point select this upper one now the same for this from here to select this point and place see let's select this one move your cursor and it will show you this way now select this one move even though you can change let's say select these two from here you can change tolerance precision 0 go to leader custom text position select this and see this is going to be horizontal look again smart dimension select this go to leader and change position like this zero tolerance simply you can do this just check or draw okay these are the dimensions we need to specify if you move cursor to this and it will show you di diameter or radius if this is radius it will show you radius but here di now if you press this click on the circle and it will post post on their particular position now if you select this and this see if you want to add this is a square so simply go to dimension text press sq short com for a square now it is fit say okay you can move dimension okay let's check Uh, if you want to add center line click center line select these two lines and place it undo center line and select here select view and select this one okay here only one center line that's why it's going to add on this hole select this here we don't need okay even if you want to increase to show see even here also this is a rectangle but if you want to show some dimension simply choose this two outer line and it will show you one center line okay now let's add title block so right click edit sheet format now title 
double click and you can change whatever you want to be here first format let's say the new roman size reduce 24 bold color red okay now start solidworks exercise 190 see if you now if you want to change anything you have to select because before going we have to define everything 26 say okay now you can place just move now double click on this bold okay this is a uh, even though you can change okay if you want to write just click note place somewhere here defined 20 bold diamond color and font the roman times new roman now start CAD CAM tutorial say ok and letter you can place somewhere now simply out select and out and see this is how we change format now if you want to add some notes click notes place anywhere just click and it will show you this window now first you have to change font so times new roman here you can say 20 bold color blue okay let's start one all diamond dimensions are in millimeters for educational purpose enter and the third point material is steel a i s i okay if you click somewhere here it will again show you the same things with cursor so if you want to place another one you can just simply place anywhere but if you don't want just simply say yes refresh and it's gone see here now look all the colors are shown in something different so go to other and choose here format it will change color if you want to change the line thickness and everything there is one tool go to right click on tab and toolbars line format now from here you can change the thickness of line or anything now i am going to select these all lines now from here i am going to change thickness let's say see let's me choose this upper one 0.5 look even though if you want to select this hidden line thickness 3 3.5 now look this is more visible even though if you want to change the color we can do it change color say red or let's say blue see here the center line color let's say red thickness to five see here how you can change everything here with this line format tool 
so this is the simple tutorial okay if you want to change background color go to option color come down here you will see drawing paper select this edit okay let's see blue okay okay and see here the color is changed now this is not visible so double click on this and make this color white okay now see with the help of this tool I changed all the color and still few dimensions are not going to change so let me make white okay see here this one we will keep as it is you can move your cursor and anything now click this as a format now this one save as pdf here in option go to option and here make sure you selected dpi 600 so that you will save a good quality save replace now here look this is our pdf i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching